released in late 1994 in Japan and for the rest of the world in 1995, the Sega Saturn console was initially a commercial success in Japan. Unfortunately, however, this 32-bit fifth generation console never really took off as Sega expected. However, among the Saturn fans, it is a much loved console, even to this day. And while it was not a commercial success, the Sega Saturn managed to produce wonderful console classics including Knights into Dreams, Panzer Dragoon, the Virtual Fighter series, Astal, Guardian Heroes, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Daytona USA, and the awesome space shooter Radiant Silver Gun. Due to its hardware complexity, which includes eight processors, the Sega Saturn has proven to be difficult to emulate. While progress has been made in recent years, it is still by no means a well emulated system. In fact, there are more recent consoles that have been better emulated than the Sega Saturn. Nonetheless, there are three emulators included in Batucera that can emulate a number of Sega Saturn games, including some of its greatest classics. In fact, the classic game that you see on the screen is running off Batucera with its graphics all spruced up. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to set up Sega Saturn console in Batocera so that you too can get the best gaming results for your Batocera system. Let's do it. Greetings everyone and welcome to Batista Nation. As mentioned, today we're going to talk about the Sega Saturn. So, first thing is first, let's talk about the type of computer you're going to need. You're going to need a little stronger computer or laptop, okay? You cannot run those off on a weak laptop or computer because this is not going to work. So, for example, I first tried it out on this computer. It was a laptop. I, Intel Core, 8th generation i3 chip, okay? And it turns out it was running really, really slow. Uh, then I tried it on this laptop. Uh, this is also running on off 8th generation iCore 3 chip as well. Now between these two, on the surface, doesn't look like there's much, right? In fact, it only looks like there's a 0.20 gigahertz difference between these two, right? But it turns out nothing can be further from the truth. This computer is running off an Intel Integrated Graphics 620 chip. On the other hand, this one right here, it was running on an Intel Iris Plus Graphics 655. And this is what made the difference. Once I was able to hook up what to say on this computer, uh, it was running smooth like butter, okay? So make sure as a bare minimum, if you're running off an integrated chip, as a bare minimum for Intel, you have an Iris graphics card, okay, or Iris Plus graphics card. If you're running off a Ryzen integrated chip, make sure it's one of the, the latest chips out there, okay? Anything, anything current or uh, last year will work quite well, right? Now, if you go to the wiki page for about to say, it turns out there's no discussion, no information about the Sega Saturn uh, emulator. However, I can tell you that about to say it uses three emulators for its system. The Beetle, the Kronos, and the Yaba Sanchiro. I'm mostly going to focus on the Kronos and the Yaba Sanchiro. I've had the most success and the most luck with those two uh, emulators. So I'm going to be providing a link in my video description. This is a list that tells you which games are compatible with the Yaba Sanchiro. Okay? I don't know how up to date it is, but uh, according to this list, uh, a lot of them tend to be playable, okay? Uh, and this one here is also a list for the Kronos emulator, okay? I think this one's more up to date. And according to this, 91.12% uh, of the games are compatible with this emulator, okay? So again, we're going to be looking at these two uh, emulators. Once again, we're going to go to the Internet Archive, our favorite website, to find all kinds of stuff for the different emulators out there. Uh, if you type Sega Saturn, you're going to get a whole bunch of hits. Unfortunately, a, a number of them are going to be empty results. Uh, 
after going through all the list, I think this is probably one of the best ones I've done. I will be providing a link, okay? Uh, this is the rather complete set. Uh, let's go ahead and go into show all. Okay, you can see there, it's got divided up into different folders, alphabetical order, as well as one with a number. Go ahead and click on contents. And it also further divided into more files, 7Z format. It's got a PC format, and it's got a Mac format. Of course, if you don't have a Mac, you can go ahead and delete these after them when you download it. Um, the 7Z format is not going to be accepted in Batocera within the Sega Saturn emulators. In fact, let me go ahead and have a discussion of the different types of ROM files that Batocera will accept for the Sega Saturn emulators. And then we'll come back. Okay, so let's go into the info text to find out what kind of ROM files the Sega Saturn emulators need. So these are the files that it will accept, okay, including supposedly 7Z. I tried out 7Z, it doesn't accept it, so exclude that one, okay, but these will work with the uh, emulators that are enclosed within Matosera. And there are three emulators for the Sega Saturn. There's the Yaba Sanchiro, the Kronos, and the Beetle Saturn. Uh, so the Yabba Sanchiro can accept these type of files, okay? And if you have a zip file, make sure that the zip file contains one of these files. These files right here, this one, or this one. The Kronos will accept this, plus these uh, as well. And the Beta Saturn, as far as I know, will accept just this right here, okay? I'm not too clear which one accepts this because I don't have any files for that extension. Okay, that's about it. Let's go ahead and close this out and continue with our discussion. Okay, we're back. Let's go ahead and we'll go back to the original page here. Uh, it has, of course, a torrent, and the torrent is complete, and you will be successful in downloading uh, these files, okay? Besides that one, we also have this one. This is even more extensive. Go to this page. You click on this, and again, this is a massive, massive uh, dump out there. Uh, and you can also download the torrent for that. I think it's over six, so over 700 gigabytes worth of files in there. Okay, and that also has, a, again, this also has a torrent. Okay, for our tutorial, we're going to focus on this one, the Champion Collection. Okay, so go ahead and download the torrent. It is complete, and you will be successful. Okay. Once everything's been downloaded, then go ahead and copy it to a portable hard drive. And then we'll be able to hook that up to about the set of system, copy and paste stuff. I also want to share with you another link. I found this by accident. There's a bunch of magazines here, Sega Saturn magazines, that you can look at in case you're a big fan of the Sega Saturn console. Okay? And you can click on that. Uh, I'll give you a little preview there of what's inside. Okay? You can, you can also zoom. Yeah. All right? Pretty cool. Again, if you're a fan, I'm sure you will find this very useful. Okay. Okay, so once everything has been downloaded, it's going to look like this. Okay. You're going to have to go through the process of unzipping all these folder. I got here, for example, the end folder, right? With the end folder, you're going to see them in this format, 7Z format. And again, this is not compatible with the Sega Saturn emulators with Mbato Seda. So you're going to also have to unzip these. And then, of course, you get into these folders. And then you have to go through each and every single one of those folders to determine whether it's compatible with the emulator, depending upon the file format that it has. So, for example, on this one here, uh, I can see there this format is compatible with the emulators. So, in that case, what you need to do is go ahead and select everything and rezip it, okay? And uh, go ahead and create this right here. And this is the file. And this is the file you can copy into your portable hard drive. Okay. So these are the files I'm going to be working with today. And I've got a bunch of ISOs in there. And I've got that zip file right there. I also have this folder here, Daytona USA. And I've got this extension, okay, the IMG extension. This extension is not compatible with the emulators. Fortunately, however, we can rename that and call it ISO. 
Yes, I'm sure. Okay, it's done. And then once you, once you do that, you can go ahead and delete these. This is not this is no longer important. All we need is this right here. And I'll test that out and it works. Okay. So once you got everything ready to go, uh, we're gonna hook this up to the Batterio system and copy and paste everything. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we're in Batter Setter. Let's go ahead and press F1 on your keyboard. And let's go into my portable hard drive. Go into my folder. Go ahead and select all. Copy and paste it in the ROMs. Go into Saturn and go ahead and paste everything. Okay, so this is going to take a little while. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this. Okay, so it's finished copying everything. Let's go ahead and close this out. And let's go ahead and press start. Go into game settings. Go into update games list. Yes. Let's look for it. Uh, oh, there it is. Go ahead. And there it is. All right. So let's go ahead and scrape this. Let's go ahead and press start again. Go into scrape. Uh, I have an account with them. So I'm going to go ahead and choose. 3D, 2D there. Make sure my videos are turned on. Uh, and that's it. Let's go ahead and scrape now. All right, so it's going to go ahead and scrape everything. Uh, I'm going to fast forward this and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's finished scraping. Let's go ahead and update this. Pressing start, game settings, update games list, and voila, everything is there. The video snaps don't have no sound because I've got muted that so it won't disturb us while we are recording here. Okay, but they play well. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with a Radiant Silver Gun. So for the time being, let's go ahead and select the back or the select button and let's go to Advanced System Options. And for Emulator, it turns out that Boxer Set offers three of them. I haven't had much success with the Beetle Emulator. These two work for me, but among these two, I like Yamba Sanchito better because it allows me to spruce up the graphics, and soon I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, but there might be uh, some games that works better with Worf Chrono. So let's say, for example, you choose this to be the default emulator for the, all these games, okay? Uh, and then later on, you come across a game that, you know, you experiment with it, and you figure out Chronos works better. So to fix that, you will go into Game Options, and uh, go to advanced game options and from there you can just choose the chronos right so every time it plays this game it will choose chronos but every time it plays some of the other games it will choose the yaba senshiro okay so for the time being let's go ahead and play this game on default settings and yaba senshiro
Okay, so let's go ahead and spruce up the graphics. So on your gamepad, select back or the select button. Uh, go into advanced system options. Uh, go into video mode. Let's choose this. Smooth games, we'll select on. Shader set, I like enhanced. You can try different ones. Decorations, we can leave that there. Graphics back end, let's choose Vulcan. Video resolution, let's go ahead and choose 1080p. And let's see how things look now. You can see there, there was a tremendous improvement in the graphics. You can also, if you want to, get rid of the bezels as well. Uh, to do that, go into decorations, and then I choose uh, none. And then we're going to go into game ratio and choose 16 by 9. 9. Yeah, 16 by 9. All right. Let's try that. Okay, so it's your choice how you want it, with the bezels or without the bezels. Now then you can also use a different bezels as well. So let's go ahead and press select, go into events system options, go into decorations. Uh, this is one of the emulators you can choose different ones. All right, let's go ahead and choose that one. Just show you how it looks. Let's try some more. That one.
okay, I think you get the point. So you can do all that with this emulator. I should also point out that if you try to use these advanced system options, okay, these fancy graphics uh, with uh, Kronos, it's not going to work. Whatever you do here, it's not going to apply to Kronos. In fact, for Kronos, what you have to do is go into the RetroArch by pressing the hot key and the A key together, and that gets you to RetroArch and you can try and mess around with the settings there. Uh, so another reason why I choose this uh, emulator. Okay, now let me show you if you want to change the event settings if you use Kronos as your emulator. So let's use Radiant Silver Gun as an example. So go ahead and press select the back button, go into game options, okay, go into advanced game options. Okay, again we're going to assume that this is Kronos, okay, and let's go ahead and stop playing. As soon as it loads up, press hotkey and the A button at the same time. Hotkey and the A button. And that will give you into the advanced options. Okay. From there, go into options. Uh, and then from there, you can choose. Let's see, what is it? Resolution right here. So let's go ahead and pick 1080p. All right. And let's go ahead and back out. Okay, press resume and then get out of the game. Now load it up again. It should work. notice that it's stuttering so we're gonna to have to go back to options and bring it down to 720p So you can see that it worked, but I had to bring it down to 720p. With the Yaba Sanchiro, I didn't have to bring it down to 720p. It was able to play at 1080p without any problem. So there is another reason why I like the Yaba Sanchiro emulator. Okay, so let's go ahead and try another one, another classic here.
Okay, so let's go ahead and play one more game. Just to give you a little sample of Nights into Dreams with the advanced fancy graphics. Okay, so that should give you a sample of what's possible with the Sega Saturn emulator within Batocera. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, please go ahead and like this video. That will help me out with the YouTube algorithms. Uh, and I'm, again, I'm working on some more videos, uh, including, I think one of the next ones was going to be Duck Station. Uh, and then soon thereafter, the PlayStation 3 emulator as well. Once I hit 500 subscribers, that I will put that out. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time. And I'll see you next time on Bato Nation. Bye.